Hey guys, I'm Elliot. This is Everything Elliot, and we're in Winter Storm. You guessed it, Elliot. It is a, a blustery day in the 100 acre woods. Wind gusts are around 30 miles per hour or so. We've got probably uh, only two inches of snow so far. Nothing crazy, but the wind blowing it around is making a big difference. I just dragged my generator over the house. That's why I'm a little out of breath, but we did lose power like two or three times already. It's just been flickering on and off. Yeah, so they're calling for around 24 inches of snow and 75 or 70 mile an hour wind gusts. I've got pretty much everything inside the shop that needs to be inside the shop that needs to be safe. Anything that'll blow away is in the shop. The tractor is ready to blow some snow. Well, the wind's gonna blow the snow. The tractor's gonna push the snow. I am off this weekend, so I will be able to document this storm a little better than I did the last storm. And uh, being that I'm off, I'm probably not gonna have to plow at night. So you guys won't have to deal with nighttime plowing, which will be great. But uh, let's give you a look what it looks like out there now. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind, but it is blowing. Yeah, so it is Friday. It's about uh, 10 a.m. And it's only supposed to get worse. So we'll update you as we have to. Ooh, now the wind's picking up. All right, here we go. Let's check these trees out. I mean, my house is still over there. I'm just glad I'm in the shop. All right, it's just too nasty outside to do anything. Uh, I do have a feeling that it is gonna to continue to stay nasty and I'm going to have to plow the driveway when it is nasty outside. Uh, not excited about that, but I gotta get a couple more things moved around in the shop. Uh, vehicles rearranged so if I do need to get my truck out my truck is currently parked in the back so I need to put that up front other than that I'll give you guys an update in a couple hours let you know what it looks like let you know how much snow we got and uh, how windy it is stay tuned so it is the afternoon of day one Friday as I recorded earlier nothing really significant has happened today uh, it has been super windy we, we definitely, it definitely snowed. There's no doubt about that, but we didn't get any accumulation because it's been so windy. The wind gusts have been around 50 miles an hour and the current temperature is zero degrees with a wind chill of negative 25. So it is a little chilly out here. We did not lose power at all. So I actually ended up putting the generator back in the shop. They're saying tomorrow is supposed to be the worst day or tomorrow is supposed to be worse than today. So I guess we'll update you uh, tomorrow morning. See you guys then. Well. It's day three. We actually got some snow and it's still snowing. Nothing happened during day two. It was very uneventful. Very, very uh, sunny and blue skies. But the, uh, the storm was, uh, the snow band was about three miles north of me. And they ended up getting like three and a half feet, but it's snowing here. We got, uh, I don't know, I would take a guess, but I'd be wrong. So we'll measure just like we did in the last video. I got to get my shovel out, shovel out the door so we can get the tractor out the back door there. So I'll clean up, I'll get in the shop and uh, we'll do an old cold start on the uh, tractor. It's about, uh, I don't know how cold it is actually. 15 degrees, feels like negative one. All right, so like I was saying, uh, it is day three. It is actually Christmas day today, so Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everybody watching this video. It is snowing pretty good out there, and it's supposed to continue to snow for the next day. I think, uh, I think it's supposed to continue through tomorrow. So day one of plowing, we'll get this thing fired up, we'll take a measurement, and we'll plow some snow. kicking into high. Let's give it a little more. All 
All right, let's let that warm up. Well, we get to uh, 12 inches before I hit hard pack, which I assume hard pack is the stuff that was here. We'll go out a little bit. Yep, 12 inches. All right. All right, I'm gonna go put some gloves on. I'm gonna get my ear protection and we'll start plowing. some snow out here boys and girls ladies and gentlemen so in the beginning here you're gonna see me in low gear and that's because it's actually recommended by Kubota to be in low gear while your tractor's warming up. That uh, allows the transmission oils to warm up as the tractor warms up. If you put it in medium gear or high gear, right when it's cold, it's uh, gonna be fighting the oil. So the first one or two passes, we'll leave it in low gear, then we'll hit medium. I'm gonna start down at the end of the driveway, work my way up here. And for everybody's recommendation, again, I'm gonna push everything over there. We'll help the county out. We'll get some of the uh, some of the roadway here. Before the tire chains, I would have never been able to push up that hill on my driveway. There's no way it would have happened. And I mean, we're still just chugging right along. Try to get some turn action in here. See how big of a pile we can put right here and then push from the side to see how much traction we can get. Oh, and somebody told me to uh, try steering with the brakes. So we're gonna try that today as well. I just unhooked my brakes. They're normally hooked together. All right, we're in medium gear now. That didn't. All right, note to self, don't use the brakes on the hill. It does work. low gear and try the brake. Look at that.
parking area cleaned up. Nice feature. Whoa! Super nice feature of the pocket, too. All right, let's hit this pile. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's close. Let's grab a little bite. this whole pile here. Almost. That love and feeling, whoa, that love and feeling. We've got that love and feeling, cause it's gone, gone, gone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't judge me on my singing, all right? I just like listening to music when I'm plowing the snow. I might not all, all I might not know all the words, but make them up as I go. Alright, let's see here. Probably should do something with these firewood bins so they're out of my way. But baby! you got that love and feeling. Whoa, that love and feeling. Got that love and feeling Cause it's gone, gone, gone Oh, oh, oh What's the next song? All right. All the 
back dragging's done. You know, there's a lot of behind the scenes work that goes into these YouTube videos. I don't even know if this wireless mic's working because it's covered in snow. It might all just be uh, really, really scratchy. I'm trying to get my voice through the snow. And you know what? That's actually the excuse I'm gonna use for my terrible singing. So if I sound really bad when I'm singing, it's the, the wireless mic. Not a problem with my uh, voice, you know. Ooh, there was a little, uh, little break. This is uh, what I would consider part one of Storm Elliot on everything Elliot. That's me, I'm Elliot, this is my storm. They named one after me, I'm very proud of it. However, it did ruin a lot of people's Christmases, so I'm sorry about that. I don't really have somewhere you can file a complaint, therefore I will not be taking complaints. I'm gonna do some final cleanup on the driveway, just touch things up, but for the most part, we're done. Again, super happy with the way that the tire chains worked out. They worked out very well. I've never been able to push all the way from the road up to, up to the parking area. It's never happened before, and I can only imagine that is because of the tire chains, so. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you go check it out. It was a couple videos ago. This is going to be part one of Storm Elliot. Uh, Storm Elliot seems to be continuing. So since I am everything Elliot, I plan on continuing to covering said storm in future videos. I'm sure later this afternoon, we're gonna have to hit another one, but it is Christmas. So I do have Christmas activities. I need to go complete with my family. I think that's about it. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. Only like 2% of the people watching my videos are subscribed, which is a a very low number. I don't know if it's that's the standard on YouTube, but it is a very low number. At least that's what I, I think it's a low number. So hit that subscribe button. It's right below the video. Until the next video, I hope you guys stay safe, stay warm, and uh, stay bundled up. Thanks for watching.